Okay, so it's five to nine. I'm just waiting for the vet to turn up. Um, we're going to start our second part of the TB test where we basically check the bumps and see what the reaction is to the um, injection we did on Tuesday. So, I don't know the exact details of how it all works, I always forget, but basically um, we're looking for a reaction against that injection that they had on, on Tuesday um, and uh, the vet will be measuring the lumps and if they're over a certain size, uh, depending which lump it is that comes up, uh, means they've got TB. So, fingers crossed everyone, by the end of this video you'll either know whether we've passed our test or failed it. Let's see how we go. So here we go again. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. They seem to know what's going on this time right compared with the other day. So we're gonna get this slot round and then we'll start testing. So we're doing not just the dairy herb, we're doing all the young stock, everything. So we'll get a result when we've done the lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Seven two three. Go on. She's okay. Come on. Come on. Seven ninety. She's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That one to measure. Okay, so. Uh, measurements, 890. 890 is uh, 6 and 7. What are we looking for here? 6 and 7. So you see here, we can see yeah. there's a lump there. Yeah. And there is a lump up here. Right. There is. Wonderful. Yeah. We have to find the, the skin fold and measure across. That one first, then it comes 14. Right. And then this is the second measure. It's the width. That's coming down as 13. And also because the top was 6, and that's 7. So the difference is actually greater between the, the top and the bottom. Right. Um, so yeah, if we write down fail. 14, 13, so it's yeah. a pass. That's good. Yeah. It's a positive reaction, but it's a, it's a pass. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. the difference yeah. Um, from the avian and the bovine, yeah. um, the avian's still greater. Right, um, okay. So, yeah, so it's all clear. Right, she can go, that one. Okay, go. go on then, 890. Nine four two. Yep, yeah, she's okay. Okay. Five nine eight. Okay. Right. Measure one. So what were her? Six and seven. She's 11, 11. Okay. That's still clear because the Canadian was six. Yeah. An increase of five. An increase of three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's all right. Look in the line, mate. Mm. It's not what I like to hear. Yeah. So this one's looking bad. And you can't even see anything on the top. Well, the, you, you can you can certainly feel yeah. the, th the thickening in the skin. It's just not, isn't it? She's got thicker skin from the original reading. Anyway. Right. Okay. So she might be right.
She's 13, 14. And she was six and seven. So we'll just, we'll just need some help. It's got a graph. So we're checking the graph. See whether she'll pass or not. That's not good. It's a circumscribe reaction. So, see, so she was six. She's gone up by seven. She's gone up by seven. So we go across to seven and up to seven. She's clear. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay yeah. girl, off you go. Yeah. yeah. Seven, two, three. Is that a massive reaction? Yeah. That's a so massive see, fail. So the top is, oh the top measured God. at 14, the bottom's measured at yeah. 31 mils. Oh. So that's a fail. That's a, yeah. Massive fail. That's a, that's a reactor, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, so we failed the TB test. Yep. Have you got, you got <laughs> really to put a, sorry right at that. the end. Oh. So you've got to put a tag in? Yeah, I've got to do a clinical exam of her. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll pop a, a green tag in which takes a DNA sample yeah. um, because she is a reactor she'll have to be isolated from the rest of the herd um, and basically DEFRA will be in touch yeah um, we've been through this enough times yeah yeah, yeah. okay unfortunately it's back on 60 day back testing to 60 day test oh and God. Yeah. Yeah. right okay I'm just well, gonna go and grab my not your fault to, yeah. Okay. We'll just make a note of the um, reactor tag number. Okay. Which think of that one, Jack? Where is it? Is it there? Mm. Can you see the big lump? Just What's the short one? The bottom one's little, but the bottom one's really that big. One's really, that's, should that be that down here? That's a big lump. That, that big one should be up there, so, and then that little yeah, one should be down there. Yeah, there's a big one's down the bottom, that's the problem, and it is a big lump. That one will be at the top. Yeah. That one should be up there and then that one mm. should be down there. This is a DNA tag, yeah? This is a DNA tag, yeah. So it's got its own its own number which has been noted on the on the sheet. Mm. So Are you taking a DNA sample yeah, of the cow so, so no one can say no. you swap tags or anything? No. Right. Okay. Is that cross re reference when it's slaughtered? Yeah, yeah, mm. that, that goes for, for testing. Yeah. Right. And it'll, okay. all just, it'll all go into. <laughs> so we'll let her go now and then we've got to isolate and then. Yeah. Okay, we'll let her go for now. Right, there we go. Goodbye, failure. Go on. Well. There we go. Not the result I wanted. Uh, as you saw there, we kind of went for a scare, a few clear ones, and then finally, just we were nearly finishing, we literally had about 10 animals left to check. One of the heifers uh, came up positive with a big lump. Uh, so TB failure on the farm. Oh dear. Um, that heifer is only, oh, I guess she's probably about two and a half years old. She's in calf. Uh, she's about uh, four months in calf. Uh, now, because of the TB uh, regulation, she's going to be slaughtered, and, the, and unfortunately, the calf will die with her. Um, she'll be put to death, I think, by a lethal injection. I can't remember what they do, or whether it's a bolt. I can't remember from last time we had TB. So, and uh, so that's a big sad loss there. Um, so, also from our point of view, now we. Um, we can still sell our milk because uh, that goes off to be pasteurised but we can't sell any calves or move any cattle to market or anything. 
which is a financial blow for us because last week we had a clear out we sold some calves at market we got 700 pounds back in cash or in the bank anyway which helps with the cash flow on the farm particularly when the milk prices are still quite low um, so we're going to lose that money uh, means we've got to keep those calves until we can get clear again we're now on 60 day testing again if we pass this last test we would have gone clear we wouldn't need to TB test for a whole year but we've now gone 60 day to back to 60 day testing and we've got to go clear for two uh, tests uh, at 60 day intervals before we can actually be clear of TB to sell anything again so we're back into regime again into the summer uh, who knows what's going to happen with that in the meantime we've got to keep all these little calves we haven't born so it's a real pain um, and I, I kind of think um, part of the reason it's quite important I do these videos is you get to see the kind of downside I know I don't like showing the downside really but I show the reality of what it's like on a family farm like this because you saw my wife was actually doing the recording my brother was in the shed he doesn't like being filmed but he, he was there helping out my little lad Jack was helping out he was passing his ear tags because we were replacing the tags on the car we were missing tags so we're kind of like uh, this is like an inside eye of what it's like on the little family farm um, anyway I'm not going to get too down about it because you know what can you do we've got to carry on so tonight I'm going to go and have a really nice pint of real ale and tomorrow because it's half term at the moment I'm taking my kids on a steam railway down in um, South Devon off the top nest so anyway wherever you are enjoy your life because we've got to keep going cheers Oh, my God. 